So another cool new feature available in version 5.0, especially for larger uh, systems spread over multiple locations, is server location ID uh, for failover. Um, it allows system administrators to assign a location ID to servers in multi-server WAN-based systems, wide area network-based systems. Um, basically, it allows your administrator to find a server or pool of servers that are physically located near the affected cameras in a failover instance. Um, and to prevent those cameras from failing over to remote servers across a wide area network. Um, why do you want to do that? Well, you might have bottleneck or bandwidth issues across that wide area network. Um, so you really want those cameras to fail over to a server on your local area network in a multi-server system. Um, so how do you do it? Right. Um, you go to server settings here and you'll notice a new thing here called server location ID. Um, when you set that to one, um, then assuming you've got multiple servers set up, you would go in, apply that, and then go to another server and then apply the same ID. Um, basically, servers with the same ID are going to allow cameras to fail over between them. Um, servers that have different location IDs are not going to take over those cameras if one of those servers with a location ID one goes down and the, let's say a server has location ID two it's not going to take those cameras from uh, server location ID one. Um, so again, really primarily for large systems um, with multiple servers uh, spread across multiple different locations um, to allow you to manage where those cameras fail over to. Um, but a cool new feature in version 5.0, you should check it out.